Hey guys, Gary from Travis Dynamics. I'm here with Jared from Rockwell Tactical. How you doing? Pretty good. Go. Cool. Um, I've been to a couple classes with you guys and haven't got a video out there yet, so a couple people wanted to hear okay. uh, what, what you guys do. Uh, what kind of classes do you offer? I mean, I've done a bug out class, a mindset class, a medical class today, which we'll talk about in a, in a little bit here, but what other things do you offer? We do a wide variety of classes. Uh, most of our instructors, like myself, we have a background with, with special forces, so we have a lot of experience ourselves. And the whole purpose of Rockwell is to get good training to good people. So we have a wide variety of classes from the most basic to as, as advanced as you want to take it with, with pistols, carbines, shotguns, mm -hmm. tactical medicine like you did yep. today. Um, we have our mindset seminar. We have some uh, emergency pre preparedness seminars. I think you took, yeah, you took yeah. one of those. Um, and then we also do some long range shooting. The basics, oh. Basically, um, if we have a long enough range, then we can do some long range stuff. All right, well that's pretty cool. Uh, not a lot of long range stuff. For here in central Pennsylvania, long range training is we have a thousand yard range of an hour from where I live, but there is literally no training on it. Um, <clears throat> how long have you guys been in business? Well, we've been, we were doing classes uh, off the grid since 2006. Rocco really started, uh, I was was active duty at the time. I, I came up here on pass and a buddy of mine said, hey, you're, you're a Green Beret, can you show me how to shoot? So we set up a day and I met him at the range. What I didn't know is he had told his buddy, told his buddy, told his buddy. So what I thought was going to be me and my friend was me and 10 other guys. So it oh. was our first impromptu class. Um, so we did that for a couple of years and then we incorporated in 2010. And in 2010, we incorporated as a company, me and a couple of the guys, and uh, we've been going pretty strong since then. Well, that should fit right into your, your background. I mean, that's what you guys do, right, is teach. That's right. And you're, you're a weapon sergeant, right? Yes, yes. So teaching and shooting should be right up your alley. Yes. All right. Um, any uh, any special stuff that you guys do that's different than, say, you know, going to, I don't want to name drop, but any of the big trainers out there? Think, something you decided you wanted to stand out? And well, different. one of the things that, that we found that, that we do differently is our background and our approach to, to shooting. There's a lot of really good companies out there who can, can help you if you want a three gun, can help you if you want to, to do a game or, or for recreational yep. type shooting. All of our shooting is based upon our experience, and that's dealing with combat and defensive shooting. So... The classes in our, our curriculum is all based on our experience. So the way that I'm going to teach a Green Beret um, how to shoot and how to do combat yep. shooting is the exact same way we, we approach and we, we teach you know, the good people out there. When um, I'm real passionate about this. You know, I've experienced combat. I've deployed. I've kicked down doors. I, I've done that thing. But my wife, uh, one day I wasn't home. Um, I went into to Fort Bragg early in the morning to go do PT and some guys tried to break into my home. It was about 5.30 in the morning. So my wife heard them breaking in. She grabbed the Mossberg shotgun, and she went towards them to defend the kids. Right. So my wife experienced combat in a very real way, emotionally, physically, in the same way that I experienced it. So we're very passionate about getting good training out to good people who need it. Great, right, great. Right. All right, well, uh, I'm going to talk to Caleb here in a minute. So... Uh do we have a website or something we can find you guys yes, on? We have I'm going to put a link down here, whatever he tells me. Um, you can check out our website. It's www.rockwelltactical.com. We have a lot of information there. We have a um, description of a lot of our classes as well as a tips page. That we, we are continually uh, adding new tips and new ideas so you can read up. Also, we keep a very active Facebook page um, with a lot of pictures and a lot of upcoming events and, and things that we're involved with. All right. Well, it's a pleasure talking to you. Yes, I'll talk to you. On 23 October and 24 October, I attended the uh, Rockwell Tactical Group Basic Trauma First Aid Instructor Class. Uh, the design of this class was not just a, uh, a, a like a shooter's first aid class. It was with the intent that the students be able to go back and teach these same principles to other people, which, you know, that's kind of how that works, the train the trainer idea. Um, it was a fucking awesome class. Uh, I can't recommend it highly enough. I see a lot of people out there who completely uh, ignore the medical side of, of their tactical training, and it's fucking appalling. Uh, as you can see here, we did uh, a lot of practical hands-on exercises uh, with simulated wounds uh, from various uh, battlefield traumas that you would could would you know possibly encounter. This actually followed up uh, some pretty rigorous classroom training, and 
I can't speak highly enough about the class. This cert, this class certainly was one of the hardest classes I've ever done. Uh, I've taken a lot of shooting classes, and I mean they're all fun, and you know it's it's the the cool shit. But this class really uh, stretched my my ability to you know quickly adapt to learning information and utilizing it. It. Uh, really just a fantastic class and for everybody out there i mean i recommend you get some medical training uh from you know wherever you're at whoever you can get it from but uh, first and foremost i recommend you look into uh rockwell tactical and uh, they have a, a whole family of, of medical training classes you know not just the instructor class and uh as you can see you know a lot of this stuff was really cool and uh, uh talk to Caleb here and, and, you know, give you some more information about it, but, you know, definitely this shit rocks. I'm here with uh, Caleb of Rockwell Tactical Group. Uh, Caleb, you just taught the basic trauma first aid instructor class. Yeah. Um, I thought it was a fucking fantastic class. Well, thanks. So, <laughs> <laughs> we, we, um, we appreciate the compliment. Yeah, it was, it was a great class. It was like drinking from a fire hose. There was so much information coming out. and. Mm -hmm. Like all the shooting shit is sexy, sure. but I mean the medical stuff is just as important. I mean if you can make holes, that's great, but plugging them is probably going to be important as well. So, yeah, absolutely. Uh, no, no one wants to be the guy that someday you know has seen his buddy you know dying right in front of him and, and doesn't have the skill set to know what to do. Yeah. So today was about teaching you guys that skill set, but also getting you guys prepared to be able to teach that to other people. You know, I like to have that trickle down effect. You right. Know? You know, I can teach people here, you know, in just the basic shooter first aid class, which is a one day course, but teaching you guys helps spread that knowledge base out. Which, which I think is really important in the shooting yeah. community because medical knowledge is very, very thin out there. Yeah. Um, in fact, I was just having a discussion, and I did a video about this last week, on the NRA instructors forum on Facebook, sure. and the instructors didn't think they needed any medical training yeah and I thought well help not only should you have some you should be giving some of that away to the people that you're teaching yeah. my thought on it was that I mean you're teaching to use a gun on the off chance they're gonna have to send bullets out and if there's bullets going that way there's a good chance of coming the other way as well and these instructors were and like they shut down like that's you know a liability was one thing now we, now we do yeah yeah they're like I don't need that and I thought that's yeah. that was one of the things that actually inspired me to sign up for the class was like I, I couldn't believe you know the mindset against medical training in the instructor community, at least within the NRA. Yep. So and I thought this class was fantastic, and I certainly intend to pass this information well, on to. We we had we had great students. You know, it was a it was a smaller class. You guys definitely got some really focused one on one training, but uh, that's one thing that I know that Jared does not like to do, and, and I believe in as well as uh, small or good ratios of students to instructors yep. you know, that way what we're teaching you guys is you know is we can give you as much attention as you guys need to be experts when you're done and you know just to comment on you know what you were saying about the nra instructors and not really wanting to have that mindset you never know you know in, in today's rapidly changing environment you know of threats you never know when it's going to be you that's faced with you yep. know an active shooter scenario where you're going to have to protect your family or protect your friends, or it could be yeah. just an accident that happens on the range. Yeah, you know yeah, we're yeah. all very mindful and safe with our weapons, but you know things still happen. It might not be you who's yeah. had good training. It might be some knucklehead that's shooting next to you at a public range. Oh yeah, that's a know. dangerous place to be. Yeah, absolutely. I, absolutely. I have no idea how good the rest of the people at the range are. I know I'm not going to shoot me, but yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Or you might be, you know, running a marathon in Boston. I mean, you just never know. Exactly. Yeah, and you know it'd be better. You know, the shooting and all that is great. You know, I think our law enforcement is getting more and more prepared to be able to respond to some of these threat scenarios that we face. Really, you know, as citizens where we can help yep. is if we have first aid, you know, hey, I'm trauma first aid instructor and certified. You know, I can help and, you know, you know yep. bandage wounds. I can right. do that. I'm, 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 I can help you. Yep. That's, that's if you ever find yourself in, in a scenario like that, that's one way that you can really give back. And most, most gun owners, you know, they envision themselves as, oh, well, if the cops get in trouble, I'm going to jump up there and sure. step around beside him and help, you know, take care of the bad guy. Yeah. yeah, that's great, you know, if you can do that. But what happens next when the guy that you stepped up to help is bleeding to death? Absolutely. Feet? So, I mean, this, Absolutely. I just can't stress how important yeah. this type of training is. And I really appreciate yeah. uh, receiving it's, it today. It's a valuable skill set. I started off as an Army combat medic and... 2000 and uh, became a special forces medic in 2007 so I've got you know about nearly eight years of experience as a special forces medic and it is something 
that I've taught all around the world to you know various yeah. different people, and it's something that I'm passionate about. I know Jared's passionate about it, and we like to teach other people. You know, we like to get yeah. people prepared for that one day when something very unexpected might happen to you. Right. And for those of you out there, uh, I did try to pry some secrets out of Caleb about what goes on in the 18 Delta School. He did not give me anything. All right, well, it was yeah. a pleasure having you in class. Absolutely. Uh, having you for class. No, no, no. And, great having you guys today as and, well. And uh, I look forward to having the next class at your Yeah, involved. absolutely. Thanks. Hey, Thanks. Uh, has anyone ever asked you if you traveled back in time to save Sarah Connor? <laughs> no, no, uh, never. No one's ever asked me that. That's weird. Interesting. <laughs> Sarah Connor.